Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about why does the narcissist hide? If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a call with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Why does the narcissist hide? Some narcissists can be overt or grandiose, where they reveal their exaggerated feelings of superiority, entitlement, self-importance, an obsessive need for admiration, and a lack of empathy towards other people. But sometimes they can hide. Sometimes they can be covert. When they're feeling self-conscious or socially insecure, which means that their actions will be more subtle and under the radar, where it may be difficult for the victim to analyze or describe. Because covert narcissists make use of clever and indirect methods to achieve their desired results. Their true feelings are not out in the open. It's kept a secret. They wear a mask. They disguise and conceal it so that it's difficult to identify and draw critical attention to their actions and behaviors. And it's because unlike the overt narcissist, the covert narcissist is less confident in themselves. They may think that they're special, but they feel like the world just doesn't see it yet. So they hide and suppress themselves because they're embarrassed and ashamed. They believe that other people are better than them and they fear being seen in a negative light. They don't like to be judged or criticized and they don't want to be confronted. Being covert may also provide them with a sense of control and it may prevent them from being exposed because although they may seem shy and withdrawn, it's only because they're deeply afraid of having their flaws and failures seen by other people because if their innermost feelings of inferiority were to be exposed, it will shatter the illusion of their superiority. But they're still narcissists at their core. They still struggle with a sense of victimization and they may resentfully blame and envy other people, but they will hide what they consider to be shameful signs of weakness, deficiency or failure because they need admiration and acknowledgement, which is why they're so vulnerable to any perceived slight or criticism and they're hypersensitive to mistreatment. And they will always project the blame onto you to rid themselves of the shameful responsibility for the perceived defect or error, which is why conflict with a narcissist is inevitable. They will blame you irrationally even for acts that they have committed because whenever something goes wrong it has to be someone else's fault which is why there's no point in arguing with them because only you can be in the wrong covert narcissists like overt narcissists are preoccupied with envy and this is one of the defining characteristics of narcissism they long for the qualities and possessions that you have, which they lack, especially if you enjoy wealth, status, or other privileges that the narcissist desperately craves. And while they may admire these things, it will be followed by bitter resentment and devaluation as they believe that it is unfair which is why they will divert attention away from your accomplishments. And they may even try to undermine or sabotage your success. But when you're dealing with a covert narcissist, they will hide it from your view. They won't reveal their true intentions and motives because that's the realm in which they operate. They will be constantly observing you and listening to everything you say. 
They will be monitoring your behaviors and gathering information on you because COVID narcissists are very interested in what other people are doing. They're constantly in comparison mode. So they're always looking at what you've got and they're wanting to discover too much about you. But you won't notice this initially because they're covert. So it's under the radar. Which is why they may act as though they're not influenced by considerations of personal interest or advantage. While the entire time they're absorbing everything belonging to you. But without revealing this to you. Because their objective is to find weaknesses in you. Which is why they won't ever let on to what they're vulnerable to. Because they're engaged in dishonest arrangements to get what they want from you. So they will throw you off to take the focus off of themselves. Because they don't want you to be aware of something deceptive and underhanded. Which is why they will make you believe in things that are completely false. And they will tell you they don't like something when really they do. They will always misguide and mislead you because they're sneaky and dishonest. They use underhanded tactics to achieve their goals. And you will be able to differentiate between a covert narcissist and an overt narcissist. Because with a covert narcissist, it's a battle of the mind, a clash of conflicting thoughts. When you first engage with them, they will agree with everything you say and they will pretend to value the things that you value while they secretly intend on doing the exact opposite which makes covert narcissists more dangerous than overt narcissists because at least with an overt narcissist you already know what you're dealing with they're showing you exactly who they are but with a covert narcissist you never know what they might be capable of you can't read their minds so you can't predict what they're going to do which is what gives them the advantage because you have no idea what's going on. You don't know what's going to happen next. They might present a certain image to you, but then behind your back, they're doing the exact opposite. They're doing things that you wouldn't even think of because when they're in front of you, they're giving you an image that is completely different to who they actually are. What you see is never what you get from a covert narcissist. They are always scheming and the games never stop. They just act a certain way to get a certain perception from you, to make you believe that they're trustworthy and that you can confide in them when this is actually the worst thing you could do because they will use your information against you. They will make you think that they know what they're doing and they're going to treat you well when it's actually just a means for them to achieve their goals through a web of lies and deceit. So when you're confiding in them, you're just giving them all of the information to obstruct your plans or objectives so that they can sabotage you. But they will act like they don't know what is going on as though they're in your corner and they really want to see you win when really they can't stand the idea of your success because they can't stand you. But they will go along with it just so they can play a part in your demise. They will act like they're doing so much to prevent you from going under when behind the scenes they're going against it. They're tearing you down because there are two opposite sides to a, narcissist, to a covert narcissist. On the surface, they may appear kind and friendly and they won't always outwardly demonstrate arrogance and entitlement. But in their minds, they are very insecure. They feel inadequate. They feel like they are unable to deal with a situation and with life. They have a scarcity mindset and they feel insufficient for a purpose. They feel like they are deficient in something. And because of this, they are constantly making comparisons with you as their reference point to form ideas and opinions of themselves. They use you as an indicator to evaluate and assess themselves and their lives. 
based on how much or how little attention you're getting or your opportunities, achievements and success. They always have to one-up you. They have to outdo, outrun, outpace, outshine and surpass you. They have to get an advantage over you by doing something better or more extreme. Even if you're just not feeling well, they will get sick and their illness will be more serious. They will always find a way to minimize and play down anything that you're doing or anything that's going on with you because they always have to be the center of your attention. They want you to be thinking about them every second of the day because your attention gives them life. It fuels them. It makes them feel like they exist because for a moment it fills that void. And this is why all they can do is think about themselves. They can make it appear like they have your best interests in mind, but they really don't. Because anything you're doing or accomplishing has the potential to reveal their insignificance. Which is why when it comes to you, they're only thinking about how they can sabotage what you've got going on. Because they want all of your attention to be on them. And just because they're covert right now, it doesn't mean that they're always that way. Narcissists have different modes of behavior. So the same narcissist who is covert can also be overt. Depending on the people they're around or if a situation calls for it, because maybe they're trying to impress someone or they want to gain people's attention, which may require them to be overt. But from my research and experience, I would say that most narcissists will predominantly be covert where they like to remain hidden and they're playing the victim as though they're at the whim of someone else's actions when in fact that's often the condition they leave their victims in they could abuse you and then while they're doing that they're overt but then as soon as you react or try to call them out on their behavior they will become covert they could change from one moment to the next, depending on the situation they're in and the people they're dealing with. So they're not going to be covert all the time or over all the time. Some narcissists may be more covert than other narcissists or they may be more overt. It really depends on their level of confidence in their false character and whether or not they believe people will validate them. If they're feeling vulnerable and insecure and they don't believe that people would go along with whatever they're trying to accomplish, then it will be more under the radar because it lessens the risk of them being seen or being called out on their behavior. But if they believe that they can get away with it, why would they hide? They will be overt if they believe that things will go their way. But most narcissists aren't going to go that route because they're not going to be able to get away with it. They're not going to be able to pull that off. And instead, it would probably drive a lot of their potential sources of way, which is why I believe that most narcissists are covert. Because then you don't know what you're dealing with which means that it will be more effective. But when they're finally ready to discard you, even if they were covert before, they will suddenly become overt and they won't be shy or quiet anymore because by that point, they're not going to care about anything. They're ready to get rid of you. So they will rip off their mask and they will show you who they really are. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.